how long does it usually take for you to get your first your first sale? Uh, it really depends. It's like so random. Yeah. Some people are here like at 9.30 and like I said I was going to be here at 10. So they're here like way before. Which is cool, like I love that. I'm just like, gotta set up, you know? And then they get to see all the nice things that you saw. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, sometimes it takes like, like one time it was like two hours. Like I, like nobody would stop and talk. So like, that's kind of a bummer. So probably right out of high school, um, my mom never wanted me to drink coffee. She always said it would like stop my growth or something. And um, so when I moved away, that was like probably the first thing I pursued. <laughs> I fell in love with the taste first, for sure. Um, it wasn't until I started learning about like how complex it really is as far as like how people's lives are dedicated to this and like I didn't even realize that you could dedicate your life to coffee specifically. Seeing all that passion and drive kind of made me more curious. I just drank coffee and like, I was kind of just testing the waters. It wasn't like I started working in a coffee shop right away and like I was immersed in the culture and like all that. I think I realized I wanted to do my own thing pretty early on. I think most baristas do have that like dream to do their own thing because they have like a lot of ideas or whatever. But I just saw the opportunity to do what I'm doing now, which is the mobile coffee. I wasn't sure if there was going to be another opportunity for something to do of my own in the future. And I, I saw it now, so I, I just went for it. And I, I had some ideas. Thankfully, I, I was like my only investor, so I was able to just like execute the way that I wanted it to be exactly how I wanted it to be. Why'd you pick Rose to start? Uh, it doesn't have very many um, street regulations, like hours that, like, so I, I thought about going on Abbey Kinney because huge foot traffic, right? But um, all up and down the street, it's just like two hour parking, one hour parking. And like, I didn't want to give anybody a reason to be like, you can't be here, you know? So like this, spot is nice because there's no like hour parking it's just like there's street cleaning on Mondays and that's it um, and then I, I have the permits for everything else so so no one can really tell me anything I got a, a, a piccolo, it's just like a, a double shot with a little bit of um, 
his, his homemade oat milk yeah. with so hazelnut. Yeah. 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 Oat milk. Oat milk. Yeah. So yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's yeah. different. I don't know. I've never had it before. But uh, yeah, let's get the guy. I yeah. want to get. I want to treat him to one. Jesus Christ! This guy's guy. brave, man. Thanks. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty short menu, I would say. Um, I try to keep it short so that I can like be really good about the things that I do serve. I offer espresso. I offer two sizes of an, an espresso and milk drink, a cappuccino and a latte type of thing. The difference is I make all of the milk myself. It's all oat hazelnut milk. I buy everything in bulk, so I don't have to use the packaging, put everything in glass jars. I'm trying to reduce waste as much as possible. I've been serving all of my coffee in glass jars as well, and people get discounts if they bring it back. Yeah, so behind this wall, there's like a five gallon jug. I usually bring about five gallons a day, and it's hooked up to a pump that pressurizes the water, and it, goes, it feeds into this espresso machine and then there's also a separate line that goes to our, the pitcher insert that I have um, and then there's drain hoses for each that go into a separate five gallon jug. A lot of people have been asking me where I want to take this and um, at the moment my only concern is making it a sustainable business for me like being able to live and for this business and being able to do it this way exactly the way that I think is necessary so like the glass jars the, the higher quality coffees once that is like set I don't really have a plan outside of that. I just want to make sure that, that it's a healthy situation for me, you know, and that I get to produce the, the coffee that I want to produce.